Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the RGS Nation. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've already done before. And a lot of you guys are probably like, what do you mean by that? And I'm going to get into that in a second. But real quick, before I say that, I've gotten so much, so many, I got, so many people, I guess I could say, that really, really, really want me to bring this back. And I've, I know I've already done this before, I know other people have done this before, but... It is one of my all-time favorites, I'm not gonna lie. What if the MLB restarted? And before you guys click off, before many of you guys that have already seen this before click off, the only reason why I am doing this again is just because of popular demand. Countless Instagram DMs, countless Twitter DMs, countless YouTube comments that have been telling me their favorite video has always been, what if the MLB restarted and they want me to do it again. So you know what, I'm a person of the people, I'm a person of the RGS Nation, and we got to do it for my boys. So. This is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go ahead and actually, you know what? I, I was gonna pick the Rays, but let's go ahead and just decide a random team. A random team that we're gonna go ahead and go into a fantasy draft with and pretty much draft a new team. Everybody's up for grabs when the MLB restarts, so that's what we're doing. And this is the team that I'm going with. Okay, Chicago, what's good? Chi Town, baby. All right, fantasy drafts and what? Hello? We got 19. All right, we got number 19. That was a little confusing. Last time I did this, you could see your placement. I don't know why you couldn't see your placement, but whatever. Not gonna worry about it. Um, right now, who are we gonna go with? The Cubs right now. If I'm being realistic right here, if I'm being 100% realistic, we already have a very good team, like in mind. I'm going Kershaw. I'm, I'm going the ace, Kershaw, right here. We gotta make sure that Clayton Kershaw is our number one guy, and that's who we're gonna be going with. He's always gonna be our ace, no matter what. And I'm hoping that he puts in a good season. Now, the next guy. One of the best hitters in the MLB right now. J.D. Martinez. He's coming to Chi-Town, baby. He's coming to Chicago. I'm just going to go ahead and get a reliever real quick. And I know I hate doing this because screw Roberto Ozuna. This guy is a complete piece of trash. But I'm going with him. I got to get him on the Cubs. I got, I got Ozuna on the Cubs. I hate doing that. The guy's a scumbag. Like, the biggest scumbag you could ever imagine. But... I gotta go with him. The new center fielder for the Cubs is going to be Stella Marte. And we do need a shortstop right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with Didi. Let's go, Didi. I'm thinking now we gotta get another starting pitcher. I'm thinking, I'm leaning kind of towards Rick Porcello. I'm not gonna lie. I do like Rick Porcello, but Kyle Hendricks is always good. He's always been good. So I'm going with Kyle Hendricks. And he is a Cub. Next guy on our list is probably gonna be Gio Gonzalez. He's always been good. I love Gio Gonzalez. One of my favorite pitchers in the league right now. I'm going with him. And every good team has a good catcher. We're going JT Romuto. Now, but I have kind of thought of this. I'm not going to lie. With the amount of videos I have done on the MLB restarting, I would like to know, what would you guys do if the MLB restarted? And like, which team would you still like? Would you like the team that has your favorite player on it? Would you like the team that is like your hometown's team or what? Just tell me that down in the comments. I'd like to know. Because personally, I would still stick with the Rays no matter what. Because... I mean, they're really all we got. I mean, I would, I could have gone and been a Giants fan with Longoria leaving, but screw that, dude. Honestly, screw that. I'm staying with the hometown boys. I want to know what you guys would do in the comments down below. So go ahead and tell me that right now. And we need a first baseman. Hello? Matt Carpenter. Welcome to the team, my dude. Holy crap. One of the best players right now in baseball. Matt Carpenter. Welcome to the team. I can't believe he was still there. Not gonna lie. Do we do it? Do we bring him back? Do we bring Solon Castro back to the Cubs? Do we? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna sit on that for a second. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that. Longo, for sure. Welcome to the squad, my dude. Back with Madden. I like it. And it looks like Solon Castro's already gone, so we're just gonna go ahead and go with Jose. Not really a big deal, though. To be honest, not a big deal. I need like a power hitter. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Jay Bruce. I need like a very good power guy. We really don't have that. So it's good to have that. Not going to lie. Especially at Wrigley Field. We're going to need that. Closing pitcher. I'm going to have to go with Bud Norris. I really do like Bud Norris. Like surprisingly, a lot of people don't. I do like Bud Norris. I think he's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and go with Tommy as well. And uh, that should be about it. We might draft like maybe one more pitcher. And then other than that, we're just going to go ahead and leave it up. To the computer and you know what you know who's actually been doing pretty good mike leak i'm going with mike leak i don't know why i'm gonna go ahead and go with him though and uh, now we're just gonna go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft and we'll see the rest of these guys that we get so the cubs the 2018 cubs this is the team we got clayton kershaw roberto zuna jd martinez dd gregoria stolen Marte. holy crap this team's pretty good tommy geo kyle hendricks jose jt ramuto evan longoria mike leak matt carpenter jay bruce this team's good. 
Bruce Rondon, Bud Norris, Jan Gomes as a backup too. Jesus. Okay, we got Jock Peterson. I, I can I can dig that. I can dig it. We got a very good team here. We do. Not gonna lie. Not the greatest with the whole prospects. We could have definitely gone with some good guys. Oh my god, hold on a minute. The Red Sox made it out like crazy. Shohei and Vladimir. Jesus Christ. I would like to see what other teams got actually in their in their draft. So let's go ahead and see. The Phillies got Stanton. Jesus Christ. As you guys can see this. All these guys here. This is who the Phillies got. My goodness. All right. The Mets. Number one guys for a chill. All right. You guys can see the rest of these guys. Not bad, actually. Not, not a bad team. I, I was... I kind of was messing around a little bit, but, you know, when I first saw this team, I did not think it was going to be good at all, but not a bad team. Pretty solid. Nationals now. Very good. Actually, well, had a very good, like, first five people. Not really the best. The Marlins actually got quite a good team. Freddie Freeman, Aaron Judge, D. Gordon. D. Gordon's back on the Marlins. Oh, snap. Okay, what's up? Tanaka, Sean Newcomb. Not bad at all. To be honest, not bad at all. Braves, you're looking good so far. Nolan Arenado, Anelton Simmons, Josh Hatter, Byron Buxton. Decent team. I want to look through the guys, and I want to see, like, who definitely has the best team. Who do I think is going to finish off number one? The way that I'm looking at it right now, the Rays actually have a very good team. They, they might do pretty good. I'm not going to lie. They might do good. The Rays might be a, a team to not mess with right now, but I think, for sure, the, uh, the Orioles are going to have a very good season. And I think you guys know why. Yeah. Jose Altuve. All right, well, here we go. Let's go ahead and see how this team does. And uh, here we go. But if you guys are liking this so far, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys have not already, be sure to subscribe. There are currently 86% of you guys that have not hit that subscribe button. When I look at my statistics of the people that watch my videos normally, I'm going to need you guys to hit that subscribe button for me. So I know you guys love me and you guys like the videos that I make. But anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, sim to draft day. Let's see how this team does. Here we go. Just... Pray for me. So I look and see that we're doing, you know, decent 24 and 23 right now at the beginning of the season. Really could go either way. But I look at the free agents and I see this man, Bartolo Colon, left out for no one. Who can say we're the and who would I be as an MLB fan to leave this man hanging? Bartolo. Many people left you, my dude. But guess what? You always got a spot with me. I got you. And I'll even go one step further. We're bringing him up to the big leagues. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Bartolo Colon, baby. Let's go. Look at that double chin in all its glory. Let's go, baby. All right, let's continue this. We should be doing good now. Now that we have Bartolo, we should be doing good. He's going to be the good luck charm for sure. All right, so it's hit July and we're still kind of hovering around the 500 mark. How How is everyone else doing? Let's be real. I mean, we're in first place. I did not expect that. Okay, we're in first place. Everyone's not really doing all that great. Like, Giants doing good. We're doing all right. Mets are doing all right. But literally everyone else is kind of like, eh, you know? I guess when you do kind of split everyone up, there's not as much talent on one team, which is kind of good. If you think about it, like when this happens, there's not going to be like the Red Sox. There's not going to be like a Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez, Chris Sale, all these other guys on one team. So, I mean, I guess it can be good. But then again, I really don't know. But our offense is looking good. I'm not going to lie. Offense is looking fire. It's really just the rotation that is having a big problem. That's what's losing us all these games. Okay, good to know. That's good to know. All right, so right now at the trade deadline, we are about 58 and... uh well, I guess 55 now. It's changing no matter what, so it's kind of hard to gauge it, but we're doing pretty good so far in the second half of the season. And uh, let's just continue this, you know, hype. Let's continue all the momentum into the end of the year, and hopefully we can do something about it. But I'm hoping for a good playoff run. All right, come on, get above 85. There we go. And we got into the postseason as a wild card team with the Giants that we got to go through now. But really quick, let's go ahead and see how these guys did in the lineup. And here we go. Sean Marte, very, very good leadoff guy. Not going to lie, if anybody wants a good leading off guy, Sean Marte is the way to go. Jose, not bad. Not really the greatest, though. Definitely had kind of like a bad year. JD, what are you doing? JD, 42 homers with 106 RBIs with a 264. Jesus Christ. Didi, 33 homers with 99 RBIs and almost a 280. Matt Carpenter, 27. Not bad with 69. RBIs. Jay Bruce, 23. Longo finally hit 30 home runs again. My God. And then JT Ramuto, very good. Let's see how these guys did in the uh, in the rotation. Clayton Kershaw, very good. Gio Gonzalez, eh, kind of. Mike Leake, not bad as well. 
And then Matt Carnes, eh, kind of. Kind of all right. But let's see real quick. Giants, here we go. We won that. All right, perfect. All right, what about this? Rockies. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Dude, come on. Come on. Really, that's how it's going to end? Are you kidding me? That's how it's going to end? My God. All right, well, we did all right. We did pretty good. I, I, I do like... I like the concept. What if the MLB restarted? I like how we did. We did all right. What can I say? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, leave a like and subscribe if you guys are not already. And I'll see you guys later.